why CNG is not available at every petrol pump. I mean, Mumbai city has more than 1100 petrol pumps and only 152 have CNG in it. And because of this, every day there are long queues at the CNG pumps. And sometimes people have to wait for almost an hour just to fill the CNG. But if there is such a high demand, then wouldn't it make sense that every petrol pump had CNG in it? So what's the problem? Why isn't everyone offering it? Well, actually, there was one bad decision by government in 2008 that is not allowing this to happen. Guys, this is a true story of why CNG is not available at every petrol pump. To understand the whole picture, you need to first understand how CNG is exactly made. Well, CNG is compressed natural gas and this natural gas is formed when the remains of plants and animals gets covered in a lot of soil and microorganisms. And if kept undisturbed for millions of years under high pressure, they start producing methane gas, which is also known as natural gas. Now companies like ONGC extract this natural gas, refine it and remove all the impurities. This refined gas is then supplied by companies like Gale to every city via the national pipeline grid. Now every city has a city gas distributor who then supplies this natural gas to the CNG pumps either via pipeline or via trucks. But before transporting this gas via trucks, the distributor compresses this gas into cylinders, thus creating compressed natural gas or CNG. Now this CNG is loaded into a CNG cascade trucks and these cascade trucks travel to the CNG pumps location to supply this compressed natural gas. The pumps then connect these trucks CNG cascade to their dispensing unit and supply CNG to the vehicles. But imagine if CNG from this truck is finished and the next truck has not yet arrived. Then the pump is now out of CNG. And that is why you often see boards saying CNG finished or CNG not available. Now, one of the reasons why the second truck didn't arrive on time could be because of the long distance between the CNG pump and the distributor. The further away the CNG pump is from the distributor, the more the truck has to travel. And this also increases the transport cost for every kilometer. Now, beyond a point, the transport cost becomes so high that it no longer economically makes sense to open a CNG pump so far away from the distributor. And that is why when you go on a road trip, you see a lot of CNG pumps near the city or the town area where the city gas distributor is present. But you hardly see any CNG pumps in the remote areas. But distance is just one of the reasons why there is no CNG pump. Another major reason is electricity. You see, a petrol pump uses a small motor in its dispensing unit to pump the petrol from the storage tank to the refueling vehicle. And this setup requires a very little electricity. So even in areas where there is little to no electricity, you can run an entire petrol pump on just one small generator. Whereas if you want to put a CNG pump in the same location, things will be completely different. You see, petrol is liquid and can easily flow from one location to another. So a small motor is enough to do the job. But CNG is a highly compressed gas. The pressure inside the storage area is around 250 bars. And even the dispensing unit requires a 220 bar pressure to be maintained. So to compress the gas and maintain the pressure and safety, you require heavy equipments which require a lot of electricity to operate. And a single generator is not enough to run the pump 24 by 7. So if an area has little to no electricity, then it becomes really difficult to run a CNG pump. And this is the reason why it is very easy to find petrol pumps in remote areas, but not CNG pumps. But wait, what about the petrol pumps inside a city? They have continuous electricity. They are also very close to the gas distributor. Moreover, almost every CNG pump has a very long queue, which indicates that there is a huge demand in that area. But then, why does the petrol pump right across the street not have CNG in it? 
I mean, wouldn't it make sense to have CNG in that petrol pump as well, so that the volume gets divided and there is very little waiting period. Moreover, even this petrol pump will make a lot of money. So why doesn't he add CNG? Doesn't he want more money? Well, actually, even if he wants to, he can't. Let me explain you why. You see, the natural gas, either extracted or imported, is right now available in this part of the country. But how will it reach to this other part of the country? And the answer is through pipes. You see, companies like Gale transport this gas from one place to another through huge underground pipes. But gas reaching this other city is not enough, right? So someone has to further transport it to various CNG pumps. And setting up pipes inside a city is not as easy as it sounds. It requires a lot of investment, approximately 1 crore rupees for 1 kilometer. So now just imagine how costly it would be to set up pipelines across the city. And money is not the only thing, since here we are dealing with a highly flammable gas and that too in a densely populated area, so there has to be some kind of safety mechanisms. Moreover, tomorrow if something goes wrong, then there should also be some kind of accountability. And because of all these reasons, in 2008, the government passed a law that one city will have only one city gas distribution agency. For example, only Indraprastha gas is allowed to sell CNG in Delhi and only Mahanagar gas can sell in Mumbai. So, in Mumbai, may it be Bharat petrol pump or Hindustan petrol pump. The CNG gas supplied is only by Mahanagar gas. But this move by the government became a double-edged sword because it gave monopoly powers to the city gas distributors. Now, in the case of Mumbai, only Mahanagar gas gets to decide which petrol pump will get CNG and which will not. So when Mahanagar gas selects a petrol pump to offer their CNG services, they put a pipeline straight to the pump from their distribution center. But suppose a few days later, there is a huge demand in this CNG pump and the petrol pump right across the street wants to start CNG services in his pump as well. Now, even though he is ready to put in the required money and infrastructure, still he won't be able to start his pump because the decision to provide CNG is only with the city gas distributor. Now, generally, this distributor companies authorize only one CNG pump in one area so that all the vehicles from that area will come to that only one pump to fill CNG. But if they authorize another nearby pump, then they will have to put another pipeline to that pump, which will cost them even more money. But in return, that would increase the number of vehicles coming in that area. The existing volume would simply get divided into two. That means the city gas distributor will put in a lot of money to set up an additional pipeline for little to no additional profit. Moreover, a city gas distributor has little to no fear of losing customers, since the distribution company holds a monopoly in that area which means no other company can come in, provide better services and steal their customers. So to conclude, the real reason why every petrol pump does not have CNG is because the city gas distributor holds a monopoly in deciding which pumps get CNG and which does not. And even if a pump wants to start CNG services, they simply cannot because of this monopoly. So guys, that's it from my side. If you learned something new, do hit the like button and if you are watching this video in the first 7 days, then do hit the hype button.